it, which will magically become two, because um, one of the readers isn't here, so I'll, I will be reading those on my behalf. But first of all, I, I will read the, the one that I wrote for today. The Batman one wasn't written for today, that was just a happy coincidence. Uh, but this is one I, I, I read last night at an open mic called Duke, which had the theme Gothic, and so I um, wanted to write things for each of the events, but I ended up running out of time and writing one that I could use in both. And so that was why I wrote this one called The Shadow. And it's loosely sparked off by the you know, object. It wants everything you could ever be to be the things you lack. Keep heading for the light you see. Keep the shadow at your back. In peripheral sight, the shadow creeps as if to interact. Then silently it waits to, just waits there if you chance to react. No question elicits one reply, no shrug or nodded accord. With the hint of a chill you begin to suspect, there's a price you cannot afford. It wants everything you could ever be to be the things you lack. Keep heading for the light you see, keep the shadow at your back. Each promise of love it interrupts with terrors of you being scorned. Each happy chance hap you happen upon, the shadow corrupts with a thorn. So sharp that the pain makes you forget sweet roses even exist. It is all thorns in the world of the shadow, and yours too if you fail to resist. It wants everything you could ever be to be the things you lack. Keep heading for the light you see, keep the shadow at your back. With the, first, first, with the first and the second glass at your lips, the shadow seems to recede. Emboldened, so you take further sips to make it further recede. But to eclipse you it waits with a patience so great it equals the size of the night. The shadow no stranger to any danger found in the sleep of sunlight. It wants everything you could ever be to be the things you lack. Keep heading for the light you see. Keep the shadow at your back. Meeting your every step with a step of its own, the shadow matches your speed. Your smile or your tears become insincere, your hungers grow fed by its greed. Nothing you give it is ever enough, the shadow will always want more. It knows it dies too if it consumes you, but that is all it lives for. It wants everything you could ever be to be the things you lack. Keep heading for the light you see, keep the shadow at your back. Unwelcome, unwished for, constant companion, the shadow joins you at birth. Until light, light shone upon you for the very first time, you had no concept of worth. Before reason arrived and language explained, you learned all there was a dread. Alone with the shadow, after mother's kiss, condemned you each night to your bed. It wants everything you could ever be to be the things you lack. Keep heading for the light you see, keep the shadow at your back. Any nightfall when sleep is slow coming, the shadow does its best work. The wordless silence hints at the void, waiting for you when the earth swallows you up, or the fire makes ash of all that is left of your form. The shadow disappears when your time is done, and light falls upon you no more. It wants everything you could ever be to be the things you lack. Keep heading for the light you see, keep the shadow at your back. Keep the shadow at bay any way you can, by accepting the occasional sin is the method by which the shadow is softened. Sin too much and the shadow will win. The shadow can poison your love, life and dreams if you resist it too much. The shadow is your dark-sided twin with whom you will never lose touch. Rage, rage against the dying of the light that heralds the shadow's last day. The last day of the shadow is the last day of you. Can't escape it, but keep it at bay. In peripheral sights, the shadow creeps as if to interact. Then silently it just waits there if you chance to react. No question elicits one reply, no shrug or nodded accord. With a hint of a chill you begin to suspect there's a price you cannot afford. It wants everything you could ever be to be the things you lack. Keep heading for the light you see, keep the shadow at your back. Keep heading for the light you see, keep the shadow at your back. Keep heading for the light you see, keep the shadow at your back. And tonight, Matthew, I will be Bridget Leggy Ted. <laughs>
who was unable to make it today, but she did write a short piece. And I very deliberately didn't read this one before I read my own longer, louder book, because this is quite a general piece. Um, it's untitled. He first awoke in Swansea. I'm guessing he was a typical Jack. Many works did he create. Scripts, stories, poetry. He got fame. Enjoyed supping a drink or two. Married Catalin, a bohemian dancer. Travelled to America where, where his fame grew. Sadly, old age did not burn and rage for him. And now he sleeps in love. And if you're very, very super eagle-eyed, and you might, might have noticed that everybody has read in alphabetical order, apart from me, for them. No, because. <laughs> but the last, last letter of the alphabet is Z, and Z is the first letter of Zaru. So please welcome Zaru. Um, I was born choking. The things I say are forlorn, but you should treat it like I'm joking. One god, many forms, no king, kestrel wings, buzzard beaks, and duck feet in puddles of petrol. I was Brought up with spectrals in a house of slate. The dogless late grey shardscape run flood court. Mind broken Aries, sad cackling in the bracken. Tell your sistren, fetch for wastrel bleating children. Striped to barb and torn rug ragged, hind legs snag, jagged all tendoned and satcheled back to bosom where the throat won't rend in rasp out gasps of girl in curl you songs and grief. Wooden of our teeth in clasp, and aspens brew uprooted, up and looted in the gale of men bereft, expecting something doomed to flirt first breaths from deadness, held by halls of glooming golem headless. Never will a suitable phrase be spoken without a rubble of hopes, all oceaned and Atlantis as usual. Santes doing when left alone, crinkled home, and nobody felt romantic or beautiful. Sanctum mouths hung open, flies sought shelter in sweltered caves. There was once a medically electrified woman who followed her dogs to Alka-Seltzer graves. In a world where even the free felt enslaved, our windpipes were scarfed with a ripe rope reaction of belly cord contractions, a Celtic braid, so my steps a chance and I need your help to pray. I need your help to pray. Just as I wrote down the intro and read that earlier, I also wrote the outro. That's why I'm going to read the outro. Thank you, Zaru. I wrote that. <laughs> Thank you, Zaru. <laughs> Thanks to you all for coming along today. And now you're in Karad Karad Karadog, Clary Potter, and Rufus Mufasa, and everybody who did the open mic, all the performers who kindly created something to share with us today. Thanks in her absence to Matt Jones, the coordinator of many events and initiatives Woo! connected with this year's International Film and Thomas Day. Frank, thanks to Fritz for doing some bits of filming. Thanks to Pauline Williams for your I would sketchbook Alchemy. <laughs> And thanks to everyone, again. And um, I, I'm planning to put up a, a blog with uh, content from today and pictures and drawings, and uh, I will try to have that finished by tomorrow night. And um, when I've done that, I'll, I'll sh share it to so anybody who wants to pass it on in any way they can. I'll um, have pictures of the, the not an iron and uh, with this and, and Claire, but the, 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 some of the other readers and bios and. Um, links to find out more about the author, where that's appropriate. And now I'm going to stop talking and say thank you for coming and enjoy the rest of International Dylan Thomas Day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I wasn't planning to
say anything else, but again, I just want to thank everyone for coming to the library today. We're so happy to have events like this on here. So it's great that we have so many turn out today. And uh, so I just want to thank you all again. Thanks to Literature Wales again for supporting the event. And I wanted to thank, as Will did, Mab, who's coordinated Dylan Day. done a lot of work for this today, um, as well as Will. So thanks to all the organisers. We're going to have a lovely day.